Over time, billions of species on Earth have lived and died out, but their descendants, the millions of species of bacteria, protists, fungi, animals, and plants that inhabit the planet today, carry on their evolutionary legacy. When biologists hypothesize about the evolutionary history of these species, and evolutionary relationships between different groups of organisms in general, they use a visual tool called a phylogenetic tree. A phylogenetic tree can look at just a few species, or it can serve as a full family tree for all life on Earth. Why a tree? Well, trees have branches, and a phylogenetic tree is by necessity a branching diagram. At the tips of the branches, the leaves of the tree, are the taxa we want to examine. Here on the VB Suite phylogenetic tree model, we've got branches for the classes Amphibia and Mammalia, and our frog and pig models shown on the leaves are examples of organisms that belong to these classes. The places where branches connect to each other, called branch points or nodes, represent common ancestors. So the node that connects our frog and pig here represents the most recent common ancestor of both mammals like the pig and amphibians like the frog. That common ancestor was part of the phylum Chordata, which is a group of organisms that includes all vertebrates. If we move back one more node to the one that connects the sea star frog and pig, we find the common ancestor of Echinodermata, the phylum sea stars belong to, and Chordata. It's estimated that this common ancestor existed around 550 million years ago. One more node will bring us all the way back to the common ancestor of all animals, the whole kingdom Animalia, which includes echinoderms, chordates, and annelids, the group earthworms belong to. If we keep moving down through the nodes, we'll eventually reach the trunk, which represents the common ancestor of all life forms on Earth. This LUCA, or last unicellular common ancestor, is thought to have lived around 3.8 billion years ago, and its descendants include bacteria and the common ancestor of Archaea and Eukarya. If we follow the branches back up the tree, we'll see that Eukarya is the group that includes multicellular organisms, such as plants, animals, and fungi, as well as protists, which can be single-celled or multicellular. That's enough time travel for one day, but if you want to examine more evolutionary relationships between organisms, and then dive into and compare detailed 3D models of those organisms, VB Suite has you covered. Learn more at visiblebody.com slash VB Suite.